When the smoke clears, do, 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 you could be wrong in the tongue and right. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Um, this is Langston Samuels. You understand? And, um, you know, I'm, I got this show. And um, we're going to get callers in here. And we're going to set the record straight with you, you all women. You understand? It's all about, you know, just changing the hearts and the minds of the, of the, of the women, you know? We just want y'all, if y'all want a six-figure guy, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to be able to work hard to get it. When the smoke clears. Who would say, oh, we got a caller. Hold on. Hello, caller? Yes. Uh, listen, uh, what's your... Uh, 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 height, size, uh, dress size, weight? I'm 5'2", 180 uh, pounds. God damn. And I'm a size 10. Uh, uh, you're canceled. Bye. So I decided to be Kevin Samuels today. I put my little touch on it, you know what I'm saying? Langston Samuels. Because maybe you all will listen to me. You see, it's no disrespect, much respect to Kevin Samuels. But I've been trying to tell black women for the longest throughout all these years, what's wrong? What's the problem? What's going on? Why are you not able to find a good man. I've been trying to tell you why. And nobody's listening to me. No woman is listening to me. You want to know why? Because I don't make six figures. And I'm beneath you. And that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me how you all don't want to hear the truth. And you'd rather hear it from someone that's making six figures. And this is the reason why Kevin Samuels is so su successful. Because not only does he possess the knowledge, but he has the money to back it up. See, I don't have that. And this is the reason why you all don't pay attention to me. And I'm not clean cut. And I don't wear the suit and tie. I'm a different type of dude. You'll overlook me, the dude that may make 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year. The dude that's gonna cook and clean. The dude that's gonna wash dishes. That's gonna take care of the children. That's an entrepreneur. That's talented. You overlook me and walk over to somebody that's making six figures, which makes no sense to me. Because that man may have the potential of whooping your ass. That man may have the potential of cheating on you. You steadily run into the six figure dude not knowing what you're getting yourself into because you're chasing after that paper. But once that man is done with you, then what? Then what? And that paper's, that's his paper, it's not yours. And it's crazy to me, man. It's crazy to me, you all out there that are females that are looking for a six-figure man, but yet and still you don't have the what it takes in order to attain that six-figure man. You want a six-figure man weighing 180 pounds, five foot two, with a dress size 10, 15, 20. Let me tell you something. No four-figure man, five-figure man, six-figure man, no man on the planet wants an unhealthy, out-of-shape woman. Just don't. Can't do nothing with that. Nothing. And it just, it, 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 it bugs me out that in this day and time, when I look through the eyes of a millennial, a person that's young right now, their image of a woman is tattooed the hell up, skimpy clothes, weaves, butt enhance, lip enhance, nose piercing, ears piercing, lip tongue piercing, lip piercing, like that ain't no woman to me. Let me tell you something, you know where you can find a real woman at? It's a few paid places. Church, grocery store, at the park, and at their house. You're not going to find you a woman inside the club. Trust me, I've, I've tried to do it, 
and have failed. You're not going to find a good woman or a woman, period, in a strip club. You're not, you're not going to find it. It's just that plain and simple. And people can sit back and say, I'm being stereotypical. Yeah, I'm stereotyping these particular people that look like this and that and so forth. But you tell me the average boy that's, that's sliding down a pole or they got tattoos all over their bodies, tongue ring, nose piercing, all the rest of that stuff is a good woman. There are exceptions to the rules. But at the end of the day, what type of woman would want to look like that is the question. So, this whole thing of black women in particular have been having this problem, you know, finding a good man, finding a, a man that makes six figures. And all of their relationships have been bad and it's always the man's fault and blah, 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 right? Well, the first thing is this, you chose them. You knew what you were getting into before you got with him. You knew the type of person he was before you even started dealing with him on an intimate level, right? It takes two to tango, not one. So that's where you went wrong at first. That you definitely have a poor choice in men. And that it's two people that fucked up in this particular situation. The mother that raised you and yourself because you have to hold your, you have to be held accountable for your actions. If you got two, three, four, five baby daddies. If you dealt with a man that was beating your ass for the last 10 years but he still loved me. That's your fault. Don't bring that drama over to me. Because let me tell you something. When I get into relationships and shit like that, I tell the average woman, yo, leave those bags that you got at the door. Matter of fact, if you got any bags, I'm not dealing with you. Period. I got enough bags under my eyes. I don't need no bags at my door. I'm not raising no one's children. I'm not doing it. I have enough of my own. So you could care in that. I'm not being a... A, a, a baby daddy or a daddy to no one's ch children but mine. That plain and simple. There has to be some accountability held in this particular situation. And for you women out there that are in your 30s and 40s, your late 30s and 40s, screaming ain't no good men out there, let me tell you something. And this is real talk. Don't we all come out of your vagina? And don't you all have this story about men are no good, they don't be around, they don't raise their children, etc., etc. So, I'm not trying to put the 100% blame on you, but I'm just telling you, yo, the apple don't fall, fall, fall far from the tree. Meaning that if the man is not there to raise the child, and that child is a boy, guess what? You have raised that child to be a no good goddamn man. It's your fault. That plain and simple. I see rappers and I see young men walking around here with, I, I remember when they used to get their ears pierced like one side, but not both sides and bracelets and trinkets and shit like that. That's some feminine shit. Excuse me, and you can tell that these boys is, that's men now walking around here have been raised by their single parent, their mother. So here you are going around talking about there ain't no good man, but you are the one that raised them not to be no good. And that bugs me out. How you gonna talk about you got the problem, you got a problem, and you are part of the problem? And for some of you all that are just so bitter to the point where you don't even want to let that man see his, you don't even want to let that man raise his boy to be a, a young man. That's crazy to me. See, y'all bit off of that bullshit that St Steve Harvey was preaching to you. Think like a man. You can't think like a man because you're not a man. Yo, the mother of my children and I, we did a switcheroo for a minute. I stayed home and did the shit that, you know, mothers would normally do. And she went out and did the shit that men would normally do. And it didn't work. It was a total collapse. And we almost, our family almost broke apart. Yo, seriously, it was devastating. 
because no woman can do a man's job. No woman can raise a, a man. I don't care what anybody says. And I know I'm going to catch heat in the comment section because you all are going to say, well, I know such and such. That is an exception to the rules. And I'm more than sure that that particular woman that uh, raised that child, that boy to be a man, he, she also had help, whether it was their, their uncle, that son's, that son's uncle, her son's uncle, her grandfather, a teacher, uh, his mentor, a, a football, a basketball coach. She didn't totally do it by herself. So get out of here with that bullshit. Period. And it is what it is. So the next time you want to start blaming people, talking about you ain't no good man out there and this and that and so forth, let me tell you something. Go in your bathroom, close that door, and look in that mirror. See, the problem is you haven't fought, find fault in yourself. The problem is, is you think that you're perfect. And the reality of it is, is when you look in that mirror, you really do truly believe that you look like Beyonce and that you got a, your attitude is straight. And it's not. Stop listening to these Megan Thee Stallions and your Cardi B's. Those motherfuckers are getting married, are married. Stop listening to your Beyonce, I'm a single woman. All that shit she said throughout all these years and then she wound up getting married and Jay-Z cheated on her and she's still with the motherfucking camel. All the songs that's being that's that's being thrown to you and telling you to not depend on a, a man and be independent, those women that are singing it are not fucking abiding by their own rules. I seen Offset do a video where uh, Cardi B was sweeping, cleaning the bathroom and shit, and he said, "What about I don't cook, I don't clean." So here you are, you listening to your girlfriends talk that dumb shit to you. You listening to all of these, 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 these rappers, these female rappers talk that dumb shit to you. Not to talk to a dude like me that's independent, that can cook, that can clean, that can be a provider. But I don't make six figures. And not just me, I'm, 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 talk, I'm using me for an example. But people such as myself that truly know how to treat a woman. Like I am a real player like I, I yo let me tell you something everywhere I've lived I've always had a foot soaker so once you walk through that door you being treated like such you could call it queen goddess and all that BS but you gonna you gonna listen I'm gonna make sure you good you'd rather walk away from that than to walk into some shit where you don't even know what you're getting yourself into and here we go, you get with this six figure dude, you blow him off in, in his car and he, you do all types of na nasty shit and then he, you call him a couple days later and he don't pick up the phone. So now you got played by a six figure dude. And that's another body on your count. And then you gonna run to me after all those bodies you done caught Talking about some, I changed my ways and all. No, I'm gonna treat you like a ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. That plain and simple. We don't love them hoes. And I don't like, let me tell you something. There's one thing I don't like. Hand me down clothes and hand me down hoes. That wear hand me down hair. Cause that ain't your real hair. And it's crazy to me. I'm definitely not gonna deal with you. You gotta put on a new face, put on a weave, you gotta you got all these damn attachments before you get glammed up, before you on fleek. I don't need that shit. I just need a natural boy when it's time to jump in the ocean and shit, you know what I'm saying, in the Bahamas or, or in Nevis, the West Indies, Jamaica or whatever, it, it ain't nothing. She ain't got no makeup on, she's just boom. She don't care about no weed. I, I'm sweating my hand out. None of that shit. Hey man, let me tell you something. If you ain't, if you haven't found a good man yet, try raising a good man. Start off by doing that. And like I said, you can't even do it anyway. Steve Harvey got y'all motherfuckers gassed up. <sighs> try to get that man that you had a baby with, a child with. Try to get him back into that boy's life. Because that's the only way we're going to have good men on this planet ever again. Is when 
that man, that father, raises that boy in order to be a good man. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. Peace.